Now then YouTube, I'm the Toughman and welcome to some more Blightfall. We are on episode 13 today and as you've seen from the little kind of clips that I've been doing beforehand, um, I've been busy. I have been very busy guys and I do apologise on the wait for Blightfall, but it has taken a while to be able to do this. So let's pop over to the Swamp Delta and uh, see you guys, uh, show you guys what I've been doing. So I've got this, oh, oh, it's starting to come back guys. Gonna have to sort this out. So, anyways, um, I'll go over there and get my stuff back and then beat back the tent once again. Unfortunately, there is a few bits and bobs kicking around the place, guys, that I just cannot seem to get rid of. And you've probably seen it in the little clip that I've done at the start there, but um, I just see I can't get to seem to get rid of them. I cannot seem to get rid of them. Oh, hang on a minute, guys. Has it got rid of them? Oh no, there's, there's still one down here. Look, there's still one there. That's unfortunate. So I've got all my ethereal blooms over here. Let me go and grab a few and then take them over yonder because we've got the tent coming back somehow. Um, right, I'll grab you. I'll grab you. I'll grab you. And I think that one should be okay. I'll grab you as well. Look, we've got, I've got little bits of purple and I just cannot seem to get rid of them. Let me know, guys, how on earth to get rid of those things, because even the ethereal blooms just don't seem to work on it. Maybe there's a problem with something underground, because I know there's a cave system under there. I went, I went ahead and, uh, and lit quite a bit of it up. So, yeah, maybe there's something I don't know. I really don't know. But anyways, let me go over to this part over here. We don't want these guys to get tented. Come on now, step away from the tent. Step away from the tent. Let's get rid of this. There we go. We'll just spam it full of ethereal blooms right here, and uh, hopefully it will sort its life out. Good stuff. We'll just put all of them over here, shall we? Yeah. Look at that. It's turning green already, guys. It's great stuff. Okay, let's let that do its business, and I will go into the quest book, because I've got a couple of quests that uh, I managed to complete whilst I was doing all that. Um, one of them was in The Colonist. Up here, the best defense. I did ju I did die not too long before the start of this recording, guys, because I was trying to kill the last tentacle, which I did, but it also killed me in the process. Until we can find a more permanent solution to the biomass problem, we'll settle for an aggressive defense, which I've done. So I've got a mission outlook plus seven, so that means I get, well, minus three overall, because I died, of course. So we get that back. And uh, I'm interested to see just how far we've purified the swamp, because... You know, we've done the entire lot of that as well. I don't know if you have to do the water, though. Is that classed as tent? I really don't know. I really don't know. But I've got a ton of animals here, guys. I've got loads of sheep that have just decided to spawn here. Some pigs. Well, a pig. Oh, no. Three pigs. And uh, some chickens and what have you. No cows, though. No cows. Disappointed at that. Um, we got another quest done as well in the Xenobiologist. This one, Goo Disposal. And I've very nearly done it again. Um... In fact, I did do it again. I'm pretty sure I did it again. This is my third time around. So, Mission Outlook plus six, because we've done all of that. So, let's claim the reward. Brilliant. So, we've got our stuff back. Unfortunately, I've still got one more ten tendril to get. Um, and I think that is about it for that one. I think. The Engineer we will definitely get into. And the Black Market, the pr two Promethean blocks. I think we should be able to do that by now. I'm pretty sure I've got enough to make two Promethean blocks. Let's just go back to Biodome Alpha. Now, I've done that because I'm going to move my entire base from here over to the swamp over there. Uh, at your guys' recommendation, of course. So, I do want to be able to do that. Yeah, yeah, I've got enough for two blocks of uh, Promethean. Wait a second. I've already done this one. I'm pretty sure I've already done this one. Haven't I? Is this one that you can... It's a repeatable quest. That's why. It's a repeatable quest, guys. So three sapling bags. Hopefully we can get uh, the apple one again, because I had to chop it down, of course, because I moved the ethereal blooms from outside of here. Uh, so I chopped it down. Let me go ahead and uh, submit that in, then, and get a reward of three sapling bags. Birch, amaranth, and spruce. Basically, I've already got those, haven't I? Pretty sure I have. Never mind, then. Maybe not, the sapling bags. Food is beginning to be a real, real issue. And I think what I will do is apparently as soon as you use this scroll bar, it breaks the whole lot. So that's going to be slightly annoying. Um, what I would like to do is maybe have a cooking table next to all of my, uh, my, my chests and what have you. 
uh, so I can see what I can actually make by going through it and then be like, oh, okay, what's, how do I make this, blah, blah, blah. And then have another food table, one of these things, um, over here with a chest next to it. And I just grab the stuff that I need, put it in the chest, and then go and do that. Um, rather than using a crafting table, or, you know, or the possibility of just putting a crafting table next to it and then doing it like that. I suppose we could do it like that as well. Okay, let me go to sleep real quickly. I did add Camera Studio mod in because, of course, um, that's what you saw earlier on with the opening sequence right there, which I actually enjoyed doing, guys. That was pretty good, that. So if you did enjoy it, let me know. Um, if you're enjoying the series as well, guys, please go ahead and leave a like. It'd be brilliant if you could. So let's go and take a look. I'm interested to see just how well we did with uh, with doing that. So let's pop up to uh, the Jaded. Oh, there we go. Let's pop up to the Jaded and see whether or not we've actually managed to uh, get rid of some of this. Because as you can see, my map has gone all black and I have no idea how to fix that. That is really goddamn annoying. And I think it might have something to do with the camera mod that I put in. I really don't know. But we're going to go ahead and, um, and do the scan. There we go. It's now doing said scan. And what we're looking at is this island there and this island there. I think all of this is swamp. Is it? Is it swamp bay? It's known as... That's quite a lot. Is it that island that I've done instead? Or is it that one and that one? I know that there's another one. I'm pretty sure it was that one. It was... Oh, God. Which one was it? I don't know. Was it? I'm sure it's that one. And that one. We will soon find out as this spreads down the bottom there, though. And, uh, and we find out... Oh, what's this? North. Biome purification gauge. It's pretty sweet, though, isn't it, guys? It's pretty goddamn sweet. So, let me have a look at the, uh, the colonist right here, then. Where's the swamp? Forest, plains, swamp. So, it's the one with the reeds on it. So that, that's there. Okay. That is there. Let's have a look as it pours its way down. Let's see how well we are doing. What's the green there? It's a little patch of green. I'm not quite sure what that is. You can see the drop pods if you look closely. Where, really? What? What do you mean if I look closely? Where? Look closely where? At what? Ah. So there's still a lot of tent underground by the looks of things. Right there. That could be what's keeping the tent around the place, you know, guys. Huh. Might have to go in and uh, get rid of it all. Well, that's annoying. Is that... I don't know what's not tented by the looks of this. Uh, you know, above ground. I don't know what's tented. Because it looks all tented to me. Maybe the green parts are not tented? I have no idea. I really don't know. Is it finished yet? No, it's not finished yet. But we'll have a word with uh, Captain Shitake afterwards about how to use that. Because I've totally forgotten how to use it again. Is it going to be finished soon? Come on, there's tons of caves, man. Absolutely tons of caves. So where is that where we are? The green part is the purified part. Then this must be purified. I don't know. I am so confused about how this is actually working. Okay, it looks like it's finished scanning, but nothing has come up on the swamp over here for the biome purification gauge. That is interesting. I was expecting it to uh, to come with something, but maybe not. Um, scanner merit badge certifies two in one biological anomaly scanner. Blah 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 blah. How do I use this again, Captain Shitake? How do you track progress? Also, if you right-click on the side with the scanner, you can open up a window that lets you print badges that represent your progress. Each zone has three badges, a bronze, a silver, and a gold. You can print badges to show off your progress. They fit great in item frames or look great when hung up on drying racks as you clean them. So hang on a minute. A different area of the content. As you clean the area, the gauges will light up. But it didn't. It's lying to me. Look, there is nothing. I have apparently done absolutely nothing in the swamp when that is a load of rubbish. I have done loads in the swamp. That is crazy. Oh, hang on a minute. Is it at the back here? Ah. It might be at the back here. 
because we have got a couple of uh, spaces on there. In fact, three. We've got three little bits on the uh, on the swamp there. Do we have to get past one full one to get a bronze one? My God, that is going to take a lot of doing. <laughs> Jeez, I thought I was getting somewhere. Apparently not, guys. Apparently, I was getting nowhere. Jeez, that is so bad. All right, let's go back. Yes, here it goes. Done. So let's take a look at it then. Let's go over to Swamp Delta, which is going to be our new base, and let's take a look at it. I mean, we've done this part here. We've done that part over there. Oh, maybe they're classed as, as land, but because they're underground, under the water there, it'll class as being purified. So maybe, hmm, I don't know how much I've got of this I've got to do. I mean, the map doesn't work anymore for me. I really don't know why, but uh, the map doesn't work anymore for me. So maybe all of that, you know, I've got to do a ton more of this over here as well. Well, I do have quite a few of these, and as you saw, I had a, a nice little tactic there of starting from this corner and then just fanning out from there, and then I've got a huge island over there that's uh, that's able to be habited, which is fantastic, and hopefully... This will also get rid of whatever's over here, which it looks like it has now. Oh, let's get rid of this. I don't know if it's harboring any taint. But it looks like uh, normal sand and dirt and stuff like that. I mean, if, let's do the F3 here. Swamp land, swamp land, swamp land, swamp land, swamp land, swamp land, swamp land. So why is the taint coming back? I don't understand. Maybe that got rid of it? I don't know. I have no idea. Anyway, this episode then, guys, what I want to do is start moving my stuff over here. But what I really need to do to start moving my stuff over here is a house or something, somewhere to uh, live, somewhere to be uh, whilst whilst I'm actually over here. The only issue is that I really don't have much wood. I've got tons of cobble and I could make a uh, house out of cobble, but I'm gonna, need, I'm gonna need wood anyway at some stage. So I think it's about time, guys, that we went into the supplier and started getting ourselves a power plant. We've got 449, so we're going way off the chart here, but I really do want to go ahead and uh, grab myself one of these, the, re um, the rewards. I can grab either Yellorium or Blutonium. I think I'm going to go with Yellorium, and then we'll grab all of this stuff, and we'll make a little bit of a reactor over here so that we've got some power to be able to feed to our inevitable machines that we're going to be able to, uh, that we're going to be making. For example, I am I do definitely want a tree farm. That is without a doubt. But I also want to get a farm on the go, um, growing different crops and stuff from Mine Factory Reloaded. So let's go ahead and make this. Um, hmm. It is literally the, the littlest one that you can possibly make by the looks of this, guys. Okay. The reactor controller. Um, that there. That there. And then the control rod on the top. I think that this is it. Uh, I'm going to put the one piece of reactor glass that I've got right here so that I can see what's going on. Um, oops. I think this is the smallest one that you can make. Or at least I'm, I'm positive it is. So we've got the reactor access port, which is where the fuel's going to go in. In fact, I'm going to put that around this side. So let me go and put that right there. We're going to get the fuel, the power out, so I'll put the tap right there. Oops, and again. Three, one, oh yeah it is! Is that enough? No, apparently it's not working. Why, why you no work? Why you no work? I thought you worked. Maybe... I've got to put this up here and then put that down on the floor. So I'll put that over here. There we go. That's why it didn't work, because it wasn't actually part of the side over here. So we've got the reactor control. Of course, we can put the Yellorium into here and start making some power. Um, I don't want to do that just yet, though, until I'm actually at a stage where I can make power. So we're going to want to pu uh, pump the power out of here, probably into some sort of, um, you know, uh, energy cells. So let's have a look. Energy. Okay, let's have a look at how to make one of those energy cells. So it's lead, glass, and a block of redstone. I'm pretty sure I have enough lead to be able to make 
at least one of these. Let's go back to Biodome Alpha. I will move all of this stuff in between episodes if I can, guys. Um, it'll take a while. It will certainly take a while. I need lead. Now, I've definitely got lead. Six lead ore. My goodness. Well, we're going to have to put it in here and get it all smelted up into 12 ingots. So that means I can make... Well, three of these if I really wanted to, but I'm not going to do that, guys. I'm going to get the redstone that I'm going to need. I need a block of redstone. So let me grab a block of redstone. There we are. I'm going to need some glass. Uh, have I got any glass kicking around, actually? Out of interest, I'm pretty sure I don't. Oh, no, I do. Oh, well, there we go. That's pretty awesome there. Um, anything else? No, not for that. I just need to wait for the lead to cook. So I need three copper as well. Oh, I've got two copper over here. That's all clears. So I'm going to want some copper smelted up once the lead's finished, which it looks like the lead is actually finished now. So I'm going to want some more copper. Um, I also want, oh, an electrum. That's going to be a bit dodgy, isn't it? Isn't it golden? Oh, no, golden silver. So it's pulverized gold and pulverized silver. Is there a way of getting that, that I don't have to use a pulverizer for? Shape plus blend pulverized gold or gold dust. So we can put it in a crusher. In fact, that's not a bad idea. The metallurgy crusher. Oh, maybe it is a bad idea. So I'm going to need quite a bit of copper for this. So probably the... Mm, the thing is, that making the pulverizer, I'd need to use power. I'd need to have power created. I could stick the energy cell on the side without having to use... Oh no, I still need to create the goddamn energy cell to start with. Huh. Interesting. I don't know if it's the, the way of being able to make... Hmm. I could literally get one, I suppose. I could request a leadstone energy cell. It's the mission outlook of minus 10, but it will give me a full leadstone energy cell to start with. And I don't have to use all of my lead to do that, because lead seems to be really hard to come by. I don't know if that's just me, but uh, lead does seem to be really hard to come by. That and copper as well. Copper seems to be really hard to come by. So what I think I will do then is get by myself a redstone energy cell. One of these things. I'm going to buy one. Yes. I've now got a leadstone energy cell. And this will allow me to power my uh, my stuff. Now I'm going to want to get a pulverizer because I need to be able to create the, the dusts that I'm going to need. So let me go over to the swamp delta and get this place down somewhere over here because you know I do want my power to go in here. So what I'm going to do is pro probably put it there and then go into the configuration here and have that as the output on this, this side in here and have the machines just laying around over here. So I'm going to want a pulverizer. Pulverizer. Don't I have one of these? Wait a second. There's something in my brain telling me I've got a machine already. That I've got from a machine bag. Was it a pulverizer? It's very rare that my brain lets me down. Snigger, snigger, laugh, laugh, laugh. It's quite often that my brain lets me down, guys. I'm pretty sure... Oh, no, it was a fluid transposer. It wasn't a pulverizer. I remember this now. So we're going to want a machine frame, a piston, uh, two flint copper gears and a redstone reception oh, we, can, we can make that but anyway I think that's going to be it for the end of this episode guys um, I do hope you've enjoyed it come back next episode where we're going to start making some machines and be able to get some of the stuff that we need to get done done basically and uh, I hope to see you guys then until then thank you very much for watching if you've enjoyed it please go ahead and leave a like don't forget and uh, if you haven't subscribed to me already please go ahead and subscribe that would be brilliant and I'll see you guys next episode until then I'll be the top man as always Stay safe.